bank. Shot. Bank. Good. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jalen Simmons, owner of J Mix Tape Production. I've been blessed with the opportunity to help so many amazing people gain exposure and have traveled to so many places along the way. I want to continue that by allowing athletes, coaches, and others that I've crossed paths with to share their personal journey. That is why I present to you ADHD. in the making. <laughs> Here we are at, in, in the making. Uh, we have Champ Barlow, owner of 3P Athletics. We got Eric Coleman over here, state champ from Buford. Also signed his letter commit to South Plains. Um, we'll just be listening to their personal journey and their growth together and how they built. Um, so let's start with, you know, how did you two connect and, you know, what, what age were you and, you know, how did we get to this point? So me and Champ actually started training uh, going to my high school year. My high school head coach was actually a really good friend of his, Scepter Brownlee. And that's how we met, started training with him, and the rest is in history. Oh, wow. Going into like your high school, I know you started at Kings Ridge and built your way up. Like how, how was that development and how was that that growth? Y'all didn't have the strongest team, but you were able to propel like plenty of wins and, and build that foundation up. It's like he said, it really taught a lot just going in and competing every single day. Just taught us a lot of mental toughness, how you can't look at your opponent, but you gotta look at yourself and just know going in, you guys have to be strong. And I think that really helped me with my transition in Buford, just going in, knowing what type of player I was and helped us win a state championship. Yeah, and then like leading on to that, um, just how was that, how was that transfer or how was that, you know, switching from one school to another, how was that process and how do you see that, um, you know, being helpful in your situation now going from High Point to South Plains? Yeah, so um, we switched. It was actually a really smooth transition. We had an older team with all seniors, so I think that really helped us with our experience and our leadership. We were able to uh, talk to each other and help each other through a lot of the different processes as well as nobody. Um, or a lot of people from Buford didn't start at Buford originally, which is the same way that it's going to be at South Plains going in, knowing that everybody's coming in just competing for that spot. Yeah. So what's like the what was the hardest part of that transition? I know you said you know experience helped a lot, and yeah. you know switching from one school, a lot of y'all were upperclassmen. Also, you know South Plains as a junior college, just so many freshmen and sophomores coming in and out there. Like, how how do you feel like? Is going to be like the key or the hardest uh, part in your in your transfer in your. Um, I think the hardest part will just be making sure everybody's on the same page. Like it's obviously difficult. A group of all new guys. I don't believe there is a single returner on the team. But just going in, making sure we understand uh, what we're capable of and what we're there to do. And then um, just going into you know more of your game. Uh, I see so much versatility from the three-point to the mid-range post to the, you know, getting to the basket. Your athleticism has gotten, you know, incredible. Just tell me a little bit, Champ, on like how were you, what was your key key goals in developing him? And Man, well, from the very beginning when I met him, he was already about 6'5", his freshman year. So he was already bigger than the average freshman coming in. And he was already pretty fairly athletic. He was dunking already. He was moving well. So pretty much we just kind of had to focus on his, like his balance. His balance, his agility, and make sure that all of his muscles were working and firing the right way. So a lot of times we were doing weight room stuff as well as on the court stuff. It wasn't just basketball stuff that we started off with him. 
And so we were able to develop a lot of those things and help him get to that next level. And then once we got to that next level, about 10th, 11th grade, that's when we started solely, mostly focusing on his basketball game. And then, you know, we were transitioning into some of the other things that he was able to do on the court because his body was able to take some of those hits and absorb a lot. So they were playing him in and out. So he was able to play, yeah. bringing up the ball and with his back to the basket. So that was really a big key for him in his development because he was able to do both since he was the biggest dude on the team, but he was also the best player. So he had to bring the ball up as well as get all the rebounds as yeah. well as do all that stuff. So we really focus on his conditioning a lot as well too. Yeah, how has that, how has that whole <clears throat> development you feel like helped you like a lot of people have like main things that they're, you know, that they're a specialist in. I feel like you do multiple things well. Like, how were you able to like expand his game out, um, you know, throughout his whole process and just being able to play the two through the four um, and just being able to be so versatile? How do you like? How were you able to hone into every single aspect of his game? <laughs> Man, it, it was like it was a lot of film, mm -hmm. a lot of studying him. And then seeing what the what his offense was for his team, like he said, I was good friends with his head coach, so I was able to talk to him. And then he was telling me what the offense was and what he wanted him to be able to do. And so then during that month or two of training, I would we would solely focus on those things. And so that would be able to add to his bag per se. And once we can add to that bag, now we're doing right hand dribble pull ups, right hand off the screen, right hand this way. Then we do left hand, same exact thing. So they can go either way so teams couldn't just focus on him doing one yeah. singular thing. Then when it was time for him to go to the post, he started working on all post stuff, putting in the fadeaway, putting in spin moves, putting in different drop steps, just how to do proper yeah. foundational, fundamental footwork things so that he would be able to be, you know, efficient around the basket yeah. as well. Yeah, and I, I feel like that's just amazing. One of the games was Kings Ridge, and that was my first time seeing you play. I think you had like 28, 29. I hit up champ. I'm like, yo, this man, you know, Eric Coleman is looking good out here. He was like, no, nah, he's supposed to have 30. He's supposed to, have, he's supposed to hit that free throw. <laughs> I remember that moment, but yeah, but yeah, uh, I don't know. That just you know came to my mind, just thinking of just the versatility and just you know hot, like in and out, like you were destroyed. Like y'all, I don't know if y'all got the win or not, but y'all were just you were just going crazy that game. Just seeing so many you know pro tools. And just, you know, at the time, I think you were 6'6", six, six, I think you're 6'8 now. Mm -hmm. At the time, you're about 6'6", six, six, you know, and just seeing the versatility. But um, going into next year, like, what do you see yourself, you know, accomplishing? What are your goals that you want to you wanna set for yourself? Well, obviously, I want to go in and win a national championship. I feel like we're going to have a really talented team. We have a really talented coach with over 25 years of experience. So I'm looking to really leverage that to develop my game and really uh, take it to the next level. Yeah, and you said um, it's all new players as well. Um, yeah. Have you ever been, have you been able to see any of the players' games or like uh, has coach told you anything specifically he needs you to, to focus in on? Or Yeah, so we've been uh, talking a lot on the phone about different things, but I haven't seen any of my teammates yet. But they're just saying I need to come in as a complete basketball player, be able to pass, dribble, shoot, and just showcase my full game. And what do you see um, yourself after that year, um, that year of South Plains? Where do you see yourself and, you know, what level do you see yourself at? Well, obviously, I want to take this year to really try to go play a high level and then take my career to the professional level, yeah. wherever that may be. Yeah, and I can see it, man. 6'8", what, 215 now, um, three-point mid-range, he has it all. So just being able to see your growth has been amazing, seeing the connection that you have with Champ and, Having that mentality, being in that Shark Tank, yeah, <laughs> is great, man. And uh, so, yeah, man. Thank y'all for having me. Oh yeah, yeah. appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yo. Oh yeah. Do work next year, boy. <laughs> <laughs> <And> yeah. <we out. laughs>